both sides coming together. Not many games together before this afternoon, but Italy certainly having that advantage. Let's hear from that man of the match this afternoon. Down pitch side with Jenna is Nathan Brown. Yeah, thanks very much, Sharon. I have Nathan Brown, the Italian captain, alongside me as he puts his Kazoo Player of the Match medal on. Congratulations, that was a huge win. It was a must-win game. Italy won. So what does that do for your aspirations? Yeah, it give us, uh, gives us enorm uh, enormous confidence and, yeah, just really proud of the boys. You know, it's been a, a good week in camp and, um, you know, we've got a lot of players, um, you know, that are, that are part-time. But, um, you know, I just try to, all week, I just try to, do my best and, and uh, you know, help them out as much as I can. And, you know, really good kids and, um, you know, I'm just really proud of them. Well, you certainly did do your best. You were instrumental. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about your teammates and just how much you wanted that win today. Yeah, we knew that, um, you know, everyone, uh, you know, pretty much uh, rid us off the, this whole tournament. And, you know, that's, uh, that's what us Italians are about. You know, we're just about hard work and, and passion and, uh, you know, we'll fight it to the death. So that's pretty much all our... Um, all we were talking about during the week is just, uh, you know, fight for the full 80 minutes. And, yeah, I'm just really proud of the boys. You know, it's um, uh, obviously a pleasure uh, being captain of Italy. And, um, yeah, I'm just really, yeah, really stoked with uh, how they turned up. And how you turned up as well. What can this team achieve this year? Um, look, we're just going to go game by game, you know. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's one off the list. And, uh, you know, we're obviously we're in, we're in a tough pool. But, um, like I said before, we... Um, all we know is, us Italians, all we know is to, is to fight and, um, yeah, we're just trying to fight for uh, each, each uh, 80 minutes performance. About 10 minutes ago, you did go down. You look like you're in a little bit of pain. Are you OK? Yeah, all good, all good. Um, yeah, just not, <laughs> I'm not used to playing on this, uh, these kind of surfaces, to be honest. Um, yeah, first time playing here and, uh, yeah, no, nah, it's all good. Well, congratulations. You are the Kazoo player of the match, Nathan Brown. Go get him. Yeah, thank you. Leading by a captain's example this afternoon, the man of the match, Nathan Brown, as we see the Italians on the field celebrating. And certainly a performance to celebrate, certainly at this stage, one game down. Job done, James Graham. Yeah, absolutely. They couldn't have asked for anything more. I think the, the coach and, and all the staff will be delighted with, you know, the, the real effort areas, the care factor, their, their dedication to, to keeping the, the opposition to zero, which they managed to do up until the dying moments of this game. So uh, really, really good performance from the Italians and a, and a great start to this competition from them. Well, let's go back down now to pitch side. He, she is with the Italian coach, Leo Epifania. He is with me, Sharon. Congratulations. Are you sure that was Italy's first hit out? Um, definite it was their first hit out. I think that we've done a lot of gelling, though. Um, you know, we've been at this for a few years, so I think the boys were showed that they um, had bonded quite well and were never going to let each other down out there, and they played that way. What was the best thing about that win? Oh, I just think I'm just happy for the boys. Really wanted that, wanted that performance, and um, I just feel good for them that they were able to experience it. We've done a lot of talking up to now, but as everyone knows, it comes down to the actual match itself, and you've got to come up with the um, got to come up with the talk stops at some point. But they did they did what they spoke about, so I'm really happy that we were able to do a lot of what we spoke about over the last few weeks. And no doubt, one of the players leading that talk was your captain Nathan Brown. Just how instrumental is he? Uh, he's a champion person. Um, I love him. Um, he was a big part of us pulling this together. Um, he gelled, gelled us. Great leader. Couldn't couldn't have asked. Wouldn't wouldn't swap him for anyone, and couldn't have asked for anything else out of him. Any more out of him. And no doubt, attention will turn to Saturday's game against Fiji. If you win that, you are through to the knockout stages for the first time in Italy's history. Well. That would be great, but um, as I said, we didn't come. We didn't come here to lose any games. I understand we're up against. Uh, you know, I'm not delusional. We're up against some tough opposition, but um, you know, with efforts like that and the boys, their 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 efforts out there is enough to put keep us in the game. But we've got a few things that we need to fix up. There was a lot of penalties that we gave away. We can't be doing that with Fiji, but the plan is same same as next week. 
Same again, Leo Epifania, congratulations. That was a big win today. Thank you. Thank you. We'll bring in the Scotland head coach now, Nathan Graham. Nathan, are, are you surprised by what happened out there today? Uh, no, not all. Uh, Italy have got uh, you know, a good group going there. Leo's uh, prepped them really well and uh, probably taught us a little bit of a lesson there. You did say before this game that your biggest challenge was the fact, well, the unknown of Italy. What do you know about them now? Yeah, well, obviously they're a, they're a quality outfit. Uh, we, we have known that from the start. And they, they probably taught us a little lesson in uh, how to play in regards to building pressure and completing sets and, and executing the plays. And I thought that we were pretty off with our execution. And, you know, we coughed up a load of errors, which, which kept putting us under pressure. What do you put the, the number of errors down to? Nerves? No, I just think uh, a few loose carries, uh, you know, a few forced offloads that didn't go to hand, which we could have just gone down and played the ball quickly and got them on the next play. You know, and that's down to decision making, which we need to fix up. So, how do you pick them up after this defeat? Yeah, we've got two big games coming up: uh, Australia next, and then Fiji. So, obviously, massive opposition for for our guys, and I'm sure they'll be raring to play against them. Well, Nathan Graham, thank you so much for talking to us today. We really appreciate it. No worries. Cheers, Jenny. Thanks. A disappointed Scotland coach, Nathan Graham. Work for him to do ahead of their next game against Scotland in Coventry on Friday night. But this afternoon, certainly Italy grabbing the headlines. 28 points to four, the final scoreline. And a comprehensive win as well, I think, from that performance from the Italian. Let's see if we can see the, uh, the tries from the second half. And James Graham, it was really just one man all the way. Yeah, yeah, it sure was. Look, this is this is fantastic stuff from uh, Campagnolo to get the ball out wide and a beautiful finish from uh, from Mason. That's the that's one of his tries that he that he scored in his in his hat trick on 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 debut and and it's and it's and it speaks to that desire that we spoke about in the piece and and wanting it a little bit more. It was interesting to hear from from Scotland coach Nathan Graham there, focus on some of the errors. But for me, the most compelling thing was the fact that I think the Italians just wanted it that little bit more from, from more more than the Scottish team, which for me is a big concern as we see uh, Mason go over there for, for I think his second of the afternoon. And this is a beautiful little overcall. It's a great ball from Pacelli in at dummy half, but it's, you've got to be brave when you when you make that call to get the ball on your own try line in a situation like that. You've got to back yourself, and that's what Mason did there. Here we are, his second of the try. This is a beautiful individual try, just a couple of passes strung together, and once he's in space, absolutely. See you later. There's no one getting anywhere near him, and he rounds off an absolute magnificent debut, a day and a moment he'll remember for the rest of his life. He saw the gap, he pinned his ears back and he went. Yeah, showing a clean pair of heels, the tongue out in celebration. He knows no one's getting anywhere near him there. And what a day, what a moment for this youngster. This is uh, Scotland's only try of the, the evening. It took them a long time to get there. Ewan Aitken playing in the back row, but he started out as a centre and we see why there. It's a, a nice little foot flick pass to the try scoring machine in Wormsley. It's a pity that couldn't have come a, a little earlier in the piece and, and made more of a contest of this game. But take nothing away from the Italians. They came here to play. They were determined. They were passionate. And they just really wanted the victory. You could see that with their little effort areas that they, they kept bringing and kept delivering for the full 80 minutes.